do yourself a favor and cast your eyeballs across the sexy new Ferrari 488 GTB. Ferrari's replacement for the now legendary 458 Italia. Gorgeous, isn't it? I'm not really asking your opinion. This one's rhetorical. I think we're all singing from the same hymn sheet on this. It's definitely an improvement on the sexy 458. Like a LaFerrari made sweet love to a Ferrari F12 and spawned a beautiful little love child. Physically, it's a bit longer and a bit wider than the 458, as well as 10 kilos lighter. Power in the 488 GTB comes from a mid-mounted 3.9 litre V8 engine. It's smaller than the 4.5 litre unit in the 458 Italia, but Ferrari's bolted on two turbochargers onto the thing, so it now produces 661 brake horsepower plus 561 pounds-feet of torque. A massive improvement on the 562 and 398 that the 458 Italia managed. What's interesting is that it can even trade blows with the larger Ferrari 599 GTO, delivering the same horsepower and significantly more torque. So we know it's good looking, we know it's powerful, but how fast is it? Well, in a word, very. It will lap Ferrari's Fiorano test circuit in one minute, 23 seconds. Half a second quicker than the stripped out 458 Speciale, and two seconds quicker than the legendary Ferrari Enzo. You almost feel a bit sorry for the Enzo these days. As good as it is, these new cars are something else. In a straight line, it will do 0 to 62 miles per hour in three seconds, 0 to 124 MPH in 8.3, and it will hit a top speed of 205 miles per hour. Very quick. Interestingly, the transition away from natural aspiration to turbocharging doesn't appear to have altered the way in which the engine delivers its power. Maximum power is achieved at an extraordinarily high 8,000 RPM, just 1,000 RPM shy of the 458 Italia's 9,000 RPM peak power marker. Ferrari also claims the engine note is full, clear and totally distinctive. Whether that lives up to the angry, spiteful and sumptuous tones in the 458, we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully the turbos won't have spoiled everything. Some performance details you might want to know about. Well, the 458 GTB has quote unquote revolutionary aerodynamics. And that includes a blown rear spoiler as well as an underbody with vortex generators. The result is that downforce is now 325 kilograms at 250 kilometers per hour. You gotta ask yourself, is the 488 GTB as good as or better than the McLaren 675 LT? Man, it's a, it's a toss up in terms of performance, but you gotta say on looks alone, I'm siding with Ferrari. I can't really think of anything wrong with this. In fact, I have decided I'm now gonna sell all my kidneys, my house and everyone in my extended family to buy one. Can't really blame me, can you?